Hello, and welcome to the second screencast in the Academic Affairs Initiative, Eastern Ahead. If you haven't viewed Eastern Ahead's first screencast, which briefly examines current retention data and provides an introduction to the Education Advisory Board's website, eab.com, we recommend you begin there. And if you followed the directions in the first screencast, you've also watched EAB's eLearning Modules, which is an excellent preview of what you'll see in this screencast and those that follow. This second screencast in the Eastern Ahead series will focus on accessing the Student Success Collaborative through EKU's homepage and gaining a little familiarity with the Student Success Collaborative, including the best first step to take with the SSC, creating a list of your advisees. So let's look at how to access the Student Success Collaborative. If you open your browser, and you can use any browser, it's not like DegreeWorks that only works with Explorer or Firefox, and you can't use Chrome with that. But if you open your browser, then go to eku.edu, you'll see that very familiar Log In to EKU button. Now many faculty members use this button to log into EKU Direct, and you might also use it to log into Blackboard. And maybe you've clicked on that very top button, Advising Login and wondered why it doesn't take you to degree works, which, after all, is what you're used to using for advising. Maybe you saw the Central Authentication Service login page. This is the same kind of page you see when conducting some searches on the library's website, for example, and you realized you were someplace different. But if you went ahead and logged in, you landed on the front page of EKU's Student Success Collaborative. So I'll log in now. And if you're like me, the first time you land here, you have no idea what you're supposed to do next. But you notice first that there are two choices, students and institutional analytics. But that probably doesn't really clear it up for you. Now the institutional analytics tab is interesting, and there's a lot of uh, information there. It provides a broad view of the university, and it might give you some context that will help you understand the retention efforts in your program or your department. And I certainly recommend that you take some time and, and just look through there, see what you can find out. But the Students tab is definitely where you'll want to spend most of your time. Many university advisors open both degree works and the Students tab of the Student Success Collaborative at the same time when advising students. That's because the best way to think about your use of the Students tab might be this. The Student Success Collaborative shows you where a student has been and where that student is at one moment. Degree Works shows you where a student is at one moment and where he or she needs to go next. So to get a complete picture of who your advisee is and what he or she needs is made possible by adding the Student Success Collaborative to the advising work you already do. And in the next screencast, I'll show you how.